Welcome to the 25 <laughs> and over club. It's your boy, you believe the motherfucking bad guy. Oh, it's my turn? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's me, Tanique. Yay. Corey. Hi, yes. Corey. I'm back. Corey is back this week yes. to fill in for the Wendy Williams show. He is here to cover you for Nicole once again. Because Nicole uh, wouldn't have yeah, her education, I guess. Uh, let's, listen, y'all probably saying, what class is she taking? She's taking that class. That class. For that ass. Um, Not that class. You know, that. shout out to um, <laughs> no. the mental health specialist out there. Yeah, um, doing your things. If you're watching from YouTube, you can see. And you'll be able to see that, yes, I am not a blood. Blood and they, I am not YG and they are not Nipsey Hussle. No. Okay, I no am big B's and big C's over Ivy here. Ivy Park, mm-hmm. um, Valentine's Day collection, and I will be changing this outfit when I go home because they will not shoot at me when I get <laughs> off the train. Okay, they're not piecing you up. They're not. Hello, no blood. Let me talk to you. No, yeah, I'm good. Mm, mm. Don't talk no, to it's me. Gonna be the no. No, it's gonna be a year. That's what it's gonna be. Where you from? Not here. Nah, mm. now y'all really making me think I'm crip because my car is blue. Oh, you are here Snoop Dogging it. Okay. Not Snoop Dogging it. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> nah, but how y'all feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm happy to be here with these beautiful black people in this room. Mm. Hello, audience. In Black History Month. Yes, it is Black History Month. Yes. Actually, it's not because when this episode drops, it's going to be Women's History Month. Oh, wow. It's still Black is History still Month because a lot of month. shit going on for women. women too, it yeah. wouldn't happen because of... People that look like me. Yeah, I agree. Wow. Well, and I'm feeling well, too, though. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Mm. I'm okay. You know, I've been to therapy, and I keep learning that. You're I supposed to, to feel great after therapy, not okay. I feel great. I learned a lesson. I learned to live for now. Because I was telling my therapist, like, girl, why I come back to you? Like, I'm tired of paying <laughs> you copay every week. <laughs> but um, I learned that, you know, when you go therapy the first time, I close out one chapter. And I'm like, why I got anxiety again? What you going to do? You going to do your job? What you think? Mm-hmm. It just stop? Yeah. yeah. It's, a pro- it's, a, it's a process, though. But she was like, it's like a video game. Yeah. Right. Think of Crash Bandicoot. And he's like, what do <laughs> I go? Cool. <laughs> nah, not with- think of a video game. When you beat one level, you got to beat the bad guy. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to come it's back. It's always the master at that level. You know? And black people need therapy the most. We do. I'm telling you. It's a- because we all come from trauma and don't even yeah. realize it. Some mm-hmm. things that some black people find regular and normal, it is not normal. Yeah. Like somebody getting shot every day, every day, B. That's not normal. Yeah. And you probably get shot every day if, or hear people getting shot every day if you live in the Bronx. Oh, God. Well, good thing where I live, <laughs> I don't hear people getting shot every day. So I, I mean, I live the, the Bronx is really not that bad. It's not. Okay. He thinking it's that really the South not, Bronx. It's the South Bronx. That's the Bronx. It's he the South Bronx. He thinking the South Bronx. Bronx. You really you know got to know. When you really there. You know what else? Clap about? your hands if they you can, the They be thinking about the South Wait. Bronx from 1990 when niggas was slacking your face and stuff. The Bronx is really not that bad. It's, it's the South Bronx that, sh- that you guys are talking about. Billy, I'm going to invite you to your house. B- Billy, I'm <laughs> talking about childhood, bro. Billy, I'm gonna invite you to my house. No, and you're gonna be like, and if I this is the taking an Uber. I live in Co-op City. Wow, and I was on Gun Hill, See? and it's really nice Just over there. Just because you say nice, mate. Gun Hill, that's the Gun problem. Hill's a little ghetto. <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it's not the South Bronx. Like, it's completely Hill. different. Like it's it's no. not the South Bronx. I'm telling you. Well, before we get started on the show, this episode, I just gave out my address. <laughs> That's just wow. a part of the Bronx I will bleep living. that out <laughs> If I remember hopefully I'll be outside No <laughs> But um, before we got here Me and Corey was doing a little arguing Cause I'll be at work We was talking about You know we was on FaceTime mm-hmm. While we was both at work Alright And <laughs> <laughs> He gonna tell me In the versus battle Chris Brown would eat Usher alive He will <sighs> He would You said he yes. would He would Clap your hands if you think Chris Brown gonna eat Usher and that's the problem. No, and you know why? That's the problem. And and you sh- you guys should be thankful that he didn't come out at the same time as Usher because I mean he would have been like seven. <laughs> if- and he still and he always been a great dancer, always sing better. But Usher's <laughs> songs is more memorable and more chartable because it's and- old. So I- that's why it's gonna hit different than the verses. Honestly, old when you put a new artist against an old artist, the old artist is gonna hit more because it's old shit. Like Nicki and Lil Kim. Little Kim shit is gonna hit probably more because people don't listen to her no more. So it's gonna be like, oh, I remember this. But no, musically, it's giving dust or dust no. it off. Wow, but if it wasn't it's for Little Kim, there'd be dust no off your, Dust off your resume. What you said? If it wasn't for Little Kim, there'd be no Nikki. And it's, she paved. And no, actually, it's no, the same that's, blueprint. That's very true. No, that's very true. Blueprint. No, that's very true. <laughs> but 
Little Kim didn't build. She didn't build what these female rappers are nowadays. Um, Nicki did. Please. Nicki did. Nicki did. Nicki did. Kim started it for Nicki, but Nicki built it. All these girls got doll. All these girls got Barbie doll in their name. They don't, none of these girls want songs with Little Kim. None of these girls. No, 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 Barbie, no. None of these. None of these Ferrari. girls. None of these girls want a song with Kim. None of them want to look like Kim. This is why you don't argue I mean, with Bob. They already look like Kim. Right. Though. They don't. They look they like do. Nikki. Everybody got a they little like waist Nikki. and a big ass and big titties. And, and Kim surgery. was yeah. Kim definitely was doing that before. But me, females been doing that. Are you upset that um, do we have a problem chart at number two? No, actually, it actually, <laughs> actually was the biggest sale of this year. Where you get your so, information from? Um, Wikipedia. It's posted. It's posted. Google. Do your research. Nah, if you do your homework, you would know. That up. I seen that. He likes yeah. to say that blue ivy. <laughs> <laughs> it's handsome. What? Handsome. Are you ready for the beehive to come get you? <laughs> come get me. I'm a barb. I'm I'm strapped up. But blue ivy, blue ivy is beautiful. No, she is. All right, right. so what's yeah. next? <laughs> but then I had to realize that Chris Brown, that he probably feels like that because he was born in 97 and he thinks yeah. that 97 is, no. um, <laughs> he thinks he's a 90s baby. And I know that's not. <laughs> you, you know, I know Usher has a resume, but like I said, it's only going to hit different because it's old. He opened the door for Chris Brown. He has. I'm not saying he never did. But in the versus I never battle? said that. In a versus battle, Chris Brown has more right hits. now that will eat Usher alive. Any song. Any you song. got, you got it bad. You like, don't have to call. War to war. Um, anything Chris Brown does. Chris Brown resume is too long, and is I'm being realistic because I'm not even a Chris Brown fan. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not I even a Chris Brown no fan. Yeah. This conversation because I love both of them equally. I'm not even a Chris Brown fan. If you really want to get technical, I'm, I'm a Chris really Brown not. fan and I'm a Usher fan. I'm not. Though. I've seen both of them in concert they both, more than one time, so it's just like uh, they both dope. But but they, I can't. You really can't. You can't. They can't put them together. Cause I saw Chris Brown can't. But you concert, know they was thinking yeah, about it, it in it too. Huh? I saw Chris. Well, actually, when you see Beyonce in concert sixteen times, <laughs> no one could do it for you. <laughs> but the main topic of this show is the pros of oh being single. God. What is the words? Who said who? Sorry. The pros oh. of being single. That's you single wolf? I'm not. But the spirit, that who? The spirit <laughs> moves. Sound very single to me. But the pros of being single because this a ooh, thank there you is Jesus. a struggle. When you're in a relationship and there's different, <laughs> yes, I have no shoes on because I paid a lot of money for this outfit and you're going to see every All right, what's dime the pros and cons of being single? What were you, the affirmations of the word? Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? I don't know. I sent it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of pros. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> oh, she has to Let me put throw. my reading voice she has to play on. Out of <clears throat> the words of affirmation today are, I'm worrying about my happiness before... I worry about someone else's. Mm, absolutely. Worry about yourself. Worry about your motherfucking self. Don't worry about nobody else. Put yourself mm -hmm. first. Worry about yourself. Because mm -hmm. if you don't love yourself the best, nobody going to love you like that. At all. So worry Always about yourself So we went first. to the gram okay. where they serve Insta, whatever that means. <laughs> and we asked the people, what's the pros of being single? And some one response was... Spending time with your friends. Uh, but now I gotta ask you a question. What if your friends got boyfriends or whatever they're in relationships? Is that I, still I still spend time with my friends, but, but you don't spend that much time. I do. So that leads me to my next question. Are you that friend that ditches your friends when you're in a relationship? Low key a little bit. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I ain't got no dick. Me <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I don't. Um because when things go left and things get rocky, they are always going to be there for me. So I don't. I, I don't. do it in the beginning. You know when you be heavy and like. So yeah, no, I like, understand that. Yeah, girl, yeah. I'm gonna see you later. But I don't be on some. Oh, I can't. I can't go with you today. I'm gonna be with him all day. Like I don't do that. I don't. But again, y'all don't got no dicks. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't ditch my friends. But best believe. Well, maybe it's ditch. Best believe if. We made plans, and my nigga said, I want to see you. Girl, bye. <laughs> you know what? Let's not make no plans. Let's, let's not make no plans. <laughs> but I feel like, um, Girl, bye. especially in the beginning of a relationship, <laughs> you have to work on that. Um, you have to, in the beginning of a relationship or when you're dating someone, you don't got time for your friends. You got to get to know that person and spend mm -hmm. all that time because between working and whatever other projects you have going on, whatever else you have going on, all your free time needs to go to, whoa, I wore the wrong sneakers here. Why did I leave the store? 
with my work sneakers. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. <laughs> the fuck how did you end up here <laughs> how did you end up here, how did how did you end up here? yeah um <laughs> so yeah so with that also being said does it affect your relationship if your friends does not like your sp- um your little boo thing um mm. i feel like at my big age now not really because i don't have to my whoever i'm dealing with we don't have to hang out with my friends yeah it doesn't have to be yeah. we don't like. but uh, of course when you were younger that that would affect it because you're like my friends don't like him yeah, yeah, yeah. how did you handle that yeah. when i was younger um i didn't really but again i still was like that when i was younger i was very much like my boyfriend's over here my friend's over here like it was never we didn't do stuff together it was never like oh let's go hang out with my friends because he was older than me like two years older than me so i was like 17 and what he wanted to do hanging around with a whole bunch of 17, 8 year olds. So. Right. I'm, I always like to keep it separate. Yeah, me too. Like, I, my my thing is my, my thing. Problem. My friends is my friends. I right. never like mixing It's groups, cool that ever. you might know my boyfriend, yeah. but y'all ain't got to be a kiki, a hee yeah, hee. No, we don't got to do that. Yeah. Oh, follow me on Instagram. Right, y'all yeah, got to no, do that no, either. No, 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 no. You ain't got to do none of that. I don't play now, like that. It's different if we was like husband and wife. Of course, yeah. I'm expecting you. You still ain't got to be hee hee kiki, but you got to, you know. Oh my God, you're so funny. No, stop touching my husband. <laughs> bitch. Yo, yo. <laughs> if you watching the YouTube, I was rubbing on her leg and the Don't touch department my husband. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to say that. Yo, stop touching my husband, right? Don't touch my Well, why would you want to say that? Because no one should be. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm extra and I'm dramatic. So oh, yeah. I'll just be saying it just because, like, yeah. somebody can be like, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Don't touch my husband. Um, I think recently <laughs> I went into a phase where. Um, at my old age, it's um, your big age. You're not old, big, baby. Yeah, not old. Yeah. you got a big age. <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> it's too wide. All right. It's too strong. Okay, it, it won't, won't feed. But it's, it's too, too much. It's, it's too, too oh. tough. <laughs> Talk like <laughs> this, uh-uh. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Would that say <laughs> you went a little be a right mom, man. <laughs> <laughs> What With that being said, um, <laughs> like recently, like a lot of my friends, my old friends or current friends, who I don't speak to anymore, like that. Because I am booked and busy. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. They basically feel like um, he's too young for you. Like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna want the same things in life with you. Or it's they, one friend told me, like, I feel like he's taking advantage of you. Oh my God, she's gonna hear this episode and be mad. But, mind your business. You know, and it, I can understand, like, my friends are very, um, strong and um, strong minded and they f- call themselves protecting me Yeah. but at the end of the day what happened behind closed doors y'all really don't understand like what happens on the other side so I had to learn to stop telling my friends my business uh, I was supposed to ask you that you be telling me your business that's why I used no but to. I also believe too like f- friends say what they want but when it's dumb you know they do what the fuck they want when right. they're right. dealing with whoever they are I'm not with. friend but I don't be telling my friends on my business you know. Like, I will only get involved, like, if, like, my friend asks, not involved, but, like, if they ask me for advice, I don't ever mind giving out advice. But as far as, like, when they be, like, just venting to me, I just, like, give them the best advice and just, like, yeah, you know, because I, I can't tell you to leave somebody you really don't want to leave. I would never, like. That's my problem. You know? See, I'll say it the first time, but then if yeah, you want to like, go, like, um, complaining and absolutely. venting to me, I just shut up and I yeah. just listen. Because at that point, oh, it's no. like, bitch, you fucking like that. So, yeah. you know me. Go I'll ahead. tell you. Do your thing, boo. I actually don't want to hear it no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Am I lying? <laughs> no, you're not. I don't do that. Because sometimes, you know, some people, they don't want advice. They just really want to vent. And they just want you to listen. Oh, I didn't think about it like that. Listen. So that's why, that's part of the reason why I just stopped Go saying listen. anything. It's just like, But right, now you're just you. rambling and then, <clears throat> no. And then I, there's 50 million things going on in my mind. You're not going to tell me the same story about the same thing over and over. It. I'm sorry. Next case. All right. And in that Next. case, um, another pro of being... Um, the pro of being single, the people said, is less stress and less chest pains. Who got chest pains from being Less sliding pain? down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You be sliding down the wall? Some may say I slide down the wall. Some may say I take my <laughs> pillow and my sheets and sleep in the bathroom for a dramatic effect. Some may say I... May do toxic things, but maybe like you don't love me. 
<laughs> I have to watch what I say on this show because <laughs> it could be used against me anytime. You know, in the words of Nicki Minaj, you gotta be careful when you pick, pick fights. fights. Yes. Okay. <laughs> gotta be careful. Um, hey, Nicki. Hey, Nicki. Um, you know what? <laughs> with that being motherfucking said, I do tend to slide down the wall and I too do tend to be a little stressed because, like, you want to, like, a relationship is a whole job. Like, mm-hmm. you want to make sure that you love this person. Not fuck loving you, but you want to make sure, like, you plan date nights. Make sure their feelings is good. And I'm that kind of person that goes above and beyond all the motherfucking time to make sure my person is doing good. And it is stressful and anxiety triggering because I don't want to get hurt. Nobody does, baby. We mm-hmm. all just want to be loved. Big loved. For real. Heavy on the love. Love. <laughs> you. Oh, you wasn't going that route. What song is that? <laughs> Loving you. <laughs> oh, he wasn't saying that. He said it's kind of like Mama Lane, cause you know that's my. I shit, was trying to figure it out. Word it for word, I don't really know if I got it like that. Okay. <laughs> um. So, have you ever been stressed in love? Have love ever caused you? Oh yeah, it's woo. Mm. Woo. Love showed me a side yeah. that I. What never song was that even... person? <sighs> a Libra. Yeah, no. they scr- they stressful. No, Libras are stressful, <laughs> but they, I don't know. I feel like they showed me a side of myself that I never thought I was seeing. But like. they love really hard though. They do, and it'd be a bit they extreme, do. and you'd be like, "They do." Bring it down a notch. You know, bring it down. About ten notches. <laughs> Keep going, no, yeah. lower, lower. No, but Libras is something. No. Yeah. Gotta be careful with Libras. Um, my stressful sign is a Taurus. I get chest pains every day. I don't stress him out, y'all. Mm, it is stressful. Really, no stressing. Just stress walking out. out. As you should. Yeah. What was your Oh, you don't really believe in the signs or rotations? No, but I don't I don't I don't let people stress me out. Mm-hmm. You show me your true colors and then I be falling back like almost like my back broke. It just yeah. <laughs> I fall yeah. the fuck back. I, feel, I felt that though. All the way back. Cause I'm, I used to be like that. I don't know. I think the older I got, the softer I got. It's just weird. I, I feel like, like as, it's, it's easier for me to be like, all right, I see how you acting. I'ma just, I'm, I'ma chill with you. I guess you won't come around because you're gonna be like, why the fuck are you acting different? Cause you're acting different, honey. I get more stressed after arguments because once I tell you about yourself and I know I said some shit that got me in trouble, <laughs> I'm like, are they ever gonna speak to me again? Did I have to say that? <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble? Are we officially done? Because right. one thing about motherfuckers, they love to say, "Aye, right, we done. And you know they're not done. Y'all not done. Right, right, you know right. you'll be talking to them in two days. Yeah. Done with me. But you'll know when the I'm done is actually the real I'm done. Right. But I learned that I've been saying I'm been done for the... No, mind. Ooh. All right, now. I, now that I think about it, the, the <laughs> sign me, <laughs> that stressed Ooh. me out the most probably was an Aries. Mm. And this was as a recently. friend, an Aries stress. Mm. I was just like, Wait, I, can o- I can only imagine. I, love I was like, like bro, this. But I've a dated Aries. more than one Aries, but this particular yeah. one, yeah. they all the same girl, doing, not particular. No, no, no. This one was doing the fucking the most. fucking most. And I was like, relax. Like, what are you? I think what stresses me you? out is when. Like, you know, I make some, I set boundaries and you cross them. I think that's what pisses me off more. Yes. It's like, I tell you, you the, I tell you the things that I, I like and I tell you the things that I don't like. And you, you know, you cross them. It really be like, that's oh, what you like pisses this? me off. I'm going to do this. Yeah, exactly. And like, <laughs> just when people learn you, they learn your buttons mm-hmm. and they know what gets you mad and they know what gets you going. So it's just like, um, I be violating the boundaries. I learned that. That's Ooh. the problem. Hmm? That's a problem. No, because you do that. I want to try to convince you. Why do you act the way you act? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not like, yeah. And you know what? He tried to tell me the other day. I'm a manipulator, and I didn't believe it. But I. <laughs> I don't be manipulating on purpose. I be trying to manipulate. So what you be doing on purpose? I don't try to manipulate. I try to convince you to come to the other side and see my side. My oh, side of manipulation. That's exactly what manipulation my side, is. My side. <laughs> All right. Another one that they said is what? Um, relationship weight gain. You do not gain weight. Clap your hands if you gain weight in a new relationship. Damn, 
<laughs> Yo, you won't get happy in love, wait. I never really understood the correlation. So can somebody like break that down to me? Oh, like, when you first like, start like, dating you, and you, you in love, like, bitch, we going out to eat every week. Oh, every... Mm, like, we go out to eat all the time, but like... <laughs> Yo, y'all never gained weight. Why y'all fast eat? Metabolism. metabolism? Yeah, though, that's why I never really understood like the correlation. Well, how do I get fast metabolism? Is there a BBL surgery for that? Sky Daddy. <laughs> Sky Daddy. Sky Daddy. I want a fast metabol- tab- <laughs> metabolism. What? Metabolism. And that's why you don't have it because you say you don't even know how to say it correctly. <laughs> Sky Daddy, I want fast metabolism. <laughs> He said, "Como se llama?" This guy, Daddy so said, <laughs> "He's disappointed. He is raging up." Wait, no, I'm gonna get. Let me get serious. He said, yeah, for "What?" This guy, Daddy, if you hear me, GP, are you with me? I want oh, a yeah, fast metabolism. We at the church, we ain't going Be- no <laughs> <laughs> Because God, this extra weight that I gained in the last two months, God, let me be single so I can get depressed. No. He said, and that's your problem. Oh. You don't even know what you want. You don't know if you want a fast manipulism, whatever you said. <laughs> manipulism. <laughs> manipulism. <laughs> manipulism. <laughs> so or if you want to be single, he said, which one is it? Y'all never gain happy weight in a relationship? No, no I, gained I just when I gained going to grown the gym woman weight. That's what and I got. Eating more. <laughs> See how thick I look at It was just real simple. And you know, it's a lot of nice bodies. I'm the only fat one on the st- I ain't fat. <laughs> but that oh, doesn't matter. Matter, though, like, who clapped in the audience said that they gained happy weight? <laughs> you already know who did. Yeah, not you. Say, say, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, the next one that they said was, oh, sorry. Um, I hit the mic. Um, being focused at work and or your mm. career has your relationship affected your work or your career? Mm. No, yes, and no. The call out's coming heavy in the beginning. Yes, I was about to say that. Oh, real? Damn. Oh, not if you come over I'm and away. I'm all about my money. I'm all about my grinch. I can't come to work. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> no, best if I got sick time, <clears throat> I'm not yeah. coming in today. Yeah. Put that on my sick time. Never you never called. But like, I, mm. please I'm don't start. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> please don't start. But what I'm saying is like, if your boo come over on a Wednesday night, and you know and you gotta be at work on Thursday. Wait, and if he don't gotta work the next day, yeah, he ain't gotta work the next day. But and you know you gotta wake up at six to be at work, and, and y'all I'm going to bed tired. at three. Clap your hands if you called out for that's for after a full I checked thing. my sick time though. Oh, they don't get happy with, but they call out. Yeah, they call out. But now I'm still getting paid for the day. I check my sick time. Oh yeah, yeah. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah check, no, check the sick time because a lot it's as a manager, I see a lot of people in this not just a lot of jobs. People be calling out for broke dick and the nigga can't not replace broke you. Dick. Oh, not bro- God. I don't People like do um call out for broke. People <laughs> call out for broke dick. I pass I on that. I don't pull out call I out. Pass. No. All right. And the last thing someone says, you can work on yourself. Okay. When you're single or you're not dating anyone, what do you find different about yourself? I'm happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a total opposite. I be bored, like. Well, first of all, I've been single for like probably like almost 10 years now. So I really be like in the house a lot, especially now because, you know, the world is sick. So <laughs> Not the world is sick. That the is whole crazy. world needs some Clorox <laughs> wipes. So like now, like I be like now I'm trying to like go out more, but it's still mm-hmm. like don't talk too close to me. And then people be, yeah, why yeah, is you yeah, coughing? Yeah. So yeah, but. It's it's harder because I be wanting to go out, but then it's like, mm. for me, it's the total opposite. I feel like I'm free. I'm having fun. I'm learning more about myself. I'm outside. Like I I'm outside. Um, even if I wanted to like fuck around with whoever I want to fuck around with, I could do that if I wanted to. Like I mean, I do that. You know, it's I'm having yes. fun. When me and Taurus is on break, I feel like a different. Not person. on break like y'all in school. That's how we treat it. Well, there's never a break because if you think. <laughs> What's worse, looking jealous or crazy? Yo. You do both, okay? right? <laughs> a little or bit like <laughs> being walked over lately, walked over lately. I'd rather be crazy. Beyonce. Um, oh, yeah. Hold up, Beyonce. But um, yeah, I feel like <laughs> when I'm single or not dating on, on a break, um, <clears throat> I am more. I'm able to focus more on what I need to focus on because niggas are distraction. Clap your hands <laughs> for niggas being distractions. 
distract they, you a little bit. A little bit, a whole distraction. They are distracting. Maybe it's just me. I'm just you calling cool. out. You get a lot spending more Spending more money. Gun. Being in a relationship, it costs money. You it have to does. go out for date nights, Valentine's Day, Christmas. And if I'm and dating someone it. new, I'm breaking up with you if your birthday is before mine. Is it because oh, I'm a girl? <laughs> so you, is it because I'm a girl? Because I don't be paying for us. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm like, I don't know. And I'm the six-figure nigga, so I always like it. I keep telling you, you talking about these six big niggas, but I need a straight. I got one Gun Hill Road. Anyway, go ahead. He went finish, red. Finish what you were trying to say, because you're going to be lying right now. But yeah, niggas be, um, <laughs> niggas be distractions, Probably. and you know, I think everybody needs to focus on themselves. If you want to be somebody, right if you want to go somewhere, you better wake, wake up, up and pay, pay attention. attention. Oh, if oh. you want to be somebody, right. you want to go somewhere, <laughs> but wake up and pay attention. Pay attention if you want to be here. We don't somebody, got nobody to translate. So nobody. I can't go. Come on, Cindy, say pay attention. Nicole didn't even know what that Where meant. Where is she? <laughs> Nicole's like, is she really Spanish? Come on, you be like, say the Spanish. Like, Atenciones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> La tetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
Loosen up my buttons, baby. Uh, 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 it's true, Kim. Things that you gonna do that. No, Nicole. Uh-huh. Nicole was dope. Oh, no, 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 no. You call oh, Nicole. 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 No, Nicole. Nicole. Schersenberger. Yeah. <laughs> what that mean? Nicole Schersenberger. That was her. Uh, that's really. Shereza. Are we closing out? Shereza. Bye, y'all. Wow. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. I did not know that was her real name. It's yeah. sh- <laughs> oh, I was really sitting here thinking like that. Right, no, that is her name. Trying <laughs> to put that dolls. Yeah, yeah, it's shimp, shimp, something, something with an S. I just knew Pussycat Doll Nicole. Got changing. Cause I'm serious yeah. about wearing this. Her last name is given like Damn. Schwarzenegger, but I know it's not Schwarzenegger. But it's like, uh, what you got to change to? Just your shirt? No top bottom. But I don't really want to change your shirt. I got a little jacket. You changing? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna change. <laughs> he already out of himself. He said he not gonna change his clothes. <laughs> Wait, so you already had the um script for the second episode? Yeah, I'm just I'm about to send it to oh, y'all. Okay. That's so what I got to change. I got to send it to y'all. Is that I got questions? Um, 